should be achievable unless I just stop reading. Bear with me one moment. Hey, welcome to the channel. My name's Matt, and today we're doing the mid year freakout tag because I was very kindly uh, tagged by Bex from Sniffing the Sheets. So thank you to her. Uh, so we will crack on with the questions. The questions I'm using, because I've seen there's a couple of different sets of questions going around for this tag. So I'm using the ones that Bex used because that seems appropriate. And they're by uh, Eric Carl Anderson or The Lonesome Reader. So they're the ones I'm going to be reading. They'll be in the description down below so you can read through them by yourself. So the first question is, how many books have you read so far this year? Well, remarkably for me, I've managed to read 43 books so far this year, uh, which is way more than I've read in the first half of any of the year. I've been such a good flow of reading uh, at the moment. Long may that continue. Um, I set myself a target 50, I think, in Goodreads. I'm not too worried about the target, to be honest. And to be honest, at 43, hitting 50 by the end of the year should be achievable unless I just stop reading. And then I suppose content for this channel will become more challenging if I don't read another book for the rest of the year. That could be an interesting challenge, <laughs> but we will hit 50 by the end of the year, uh, if not in the next month or so. Uh, so yeah, a really good start to the year and hopefully a really good end of the year, but we shall see. Uh, question two, what's your favorite book of the year so far? Uh, Easy enough, that's Piranesi. I'll put it up there because I borrowed it from the library. Probably should get my own copy at some point. Uh, by Susanna Clark. Exceptional book. Just the atmosphere, the engagement, the just the all-encompassingness of the world she creates so quickly and so effectively is exceptional. It's in a sense it's it's very simple, um, but it's it's beautiful. Uh, I got lost in it so for, for so long. Yeah, just magnificent. I spoke about this more, I spoke about it a few times, but I spoke about it more in a, re video, yeah, a recent video, um, which was like my top 10 favourites so far this year. And I'm saying this is number one, which is why it's my favourite for the year. But yeah, Piranesi by Susanna Clark. If you haven't read it, I would encourage you to give it a go. It is beautiful. Question two, what's the most disappointing book you've read this year? Oh, okay, that's easy enough. This one. Again, I've spoken about this a few times. I did another video on my five most disappointing reads, and this is number one, which kind of gives away the video now, doesn't it? There are four others, but it's number one. It, as I said in that video, I love, I love dogs. I love Labradors. I have my own dog, Lila, the Black Lab as well. And you'll see it at the end, in the credits at the end of every video. Um, I've always loved dogs. And this book had a little bit about Labradors, which I thoroughly enjoyed. It was fascinating for me. It had way too much about the author Ben Fogel, which I didn't care about. And I expressed my frustrations more in, in the other video. But yeah, hugely disappointing because it says the story of the world's favourite dog, but it's really the world story of the world's favourite dog and the author. And I don't care about the author. Right, let's just shove that there for a minute. Okay, that's question three. Question four. What genre have you read the most this year? Uh, I would guess it's fantasy, though I have been on a sudden sci-fi binge quite recently. Um, now I need to bring up a spreadsheet. Just I may just cut this a little bit, but if not, it depends how quickly it comes up. Uh, year to date. Oh no, sci-fi. And then fantasy. I mean, it, it's ridiculously close. Basically, sci-fi and fantasy have been the top two, I think. Uh, what? 18 sci-fi and 16 fantasy books so far. So they make up the huge proportion of the books I've read so far this year, which is no great surprise. Name a new favourite author that you've discovered this year. Ooh, a new favourite author. Oh, there's been a few. Um, I've been quite fortunate. I've read quite... They're not new authors. There's no debut novels. I've got novels I've come out this year that I've read. Um, there's a few authors that I've not read before that I've read this year, which I've quite enjoyed. So, Susanna Clarke, obviously. Um, Andy Weir, I read uh, Project Hail Mary, uh, which was an exceptional read. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Thoroughly enjoyed the sense of humour he possessed in that. I want to read The Martian, because I gather that's a very similar sense of humour. So, we'll see. Uh, who else I've read? I've read a couple of Matt Haig's. Uh, Midnight Library was okay, was decent, not my favourite, but then I read The Humans. Much better. Thoroughly enjoyed the humans. Is there anybody else I've read that I haven't read before? Yeah, loads. But they're probably the ones that stand out the most. Oh, Stieg Larsson. 
the girl with the dragon tattoo that was very good too uh, i've got the other two books of that trilogy which i need to need to pick up and read so there's been a few there's been a few new new to me authors certainly not new authors but new to me authors which has been which has been good fun so that's that's excellent um what's the most surprisingly good book you've read so far this year surprisingly good book i've read so far this year um perhaps oh it's a different one perhaps Jurassic Park just because I thought because I, I love the film so much and the film is exceptional um I was worried that the book would be too much like the film and and I wouldn't enjoy it but actually there was enough differences between the film and the book uh, with pacing what happens uh, and the way the characters are in the book compared to the film that made it a different enough story to be enjoyable so that was probably the most surprising one because I put it off for so many years but it was actually surprisingly good um i still think the film is excellent and it's probably off the top of my head it's probably the best film adaptation of a book that i've come across nothing else to bring to mind so i'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with that bold statement and we'll see let me know in the comments if there's any more that you think are better okay uh what's your most anticipated 2023 release okay so Honestly, I'm not up to date with the releases, uh, though I am trying to get more engaged in what's being released each year. So I think probably, I'd be quite interesting. I've heard a lot about um, Adrian Tchaikovsky and his work and the, is it the City of Last Chances, which came out this year, which I've not picked up yet, but the cover is gorgeous. And I'll put a picture over here. Uh, quite interested in reading that. So probably that's probably the only one that sticks out to me at the moment. I mean, there's obviously. Yeah, I mean, there's others, obviously, but that's probably the one that sticks out. There's Yellowface, RF Kwong, which seems to be very popular and quite an interesting one at the moment. Yeah, let's go first two. What's your next next big priority for your reading? Uh, big priority. Next big priority for my reading is well, there's two priorities I've got f uh, for really for the rest of the year. One is uh, classics. So I did a little video. I read Oscar Wilde's Picture of Dorian Gray recently absolutely adored it superb i want to read more classics and i saw identified five classics i did a little video on it again it'll be tagged above and probably in the description of what the the classics i want to pick up and read so i've identified well i say five i've identified six i need help with one uh, to pick one of the which jane austen i'm going to read um but i want to read five more classics this year so that's one of them and the other one is a uh, read along which, bear with me one moment. <sighs> is to read uh, The Faithful and the Fallen um, series by John Gwynn. So there's a read along going on with uh, The Brothers Grimm and uh, Rekindle Reader and RJ Reads uh, on their Discord. Um, it's a series I've not read before. As you say, I did mm, go out and buy them all because, you know, booktube makes you do it so i want to read it we're starting this one this month uh so in july and then one month july august september october which takes me through to july august september october yeah that's right it takes me through to, to october so they're, they're the ones the other priority that i'm looking to get read by the end of the year as well let's just put them there for a minute okay what's been your bookish highlight of the year so far uh, well, other than the the books I've actually read, what's been a bookish highlight? Obviously, starting this channel that's been quite a interesting so far. It's only been a couple of months, but it's been thoroughly enjoyable. Oh, actually, um, I actually actually won a, a giveaway, which is pretty amazing. So I actually won a giveaway, and I got if you haven't seen the short. Uh, so Ed Crocker uh, ran a ran a giveaway. So thank you to him. Um, but I actually got uh, Daniel C. Jackson's Illborn and uh, Richard Swan's The Justice of Kings to read. So again, two books I haven't read, um, but I'm very much looking forward to picking up and reading um, soon. But yeah, I actually won a giveaway, which, to be honest, I never thought would happen. So that, I also didn't realise that how how much of a tome uh, Illborn actually was. I mean, it's 700 pages. It's, it's a bit of a beast. So we'll uh, see how we get on with that. Okay. What's the book you started reading and still need to complete? 
Okay, so, I mean, actually, I've, other than the books that I'm currently reading, um, I haven't got anything that's sort of dragged out. I haven't got it upstairs, because it's downstairs uh, by the sofa, where I read it. Um, but I'm currently reading, um, what's it called, Death's End, uh, by Xi Xin Lu, uh, the third book in the, is it Remembrance of Earth's Past? Remembrance of Future Past? Remembrance of Earth's Past, I'm assuming it's called. Uh, trilogy it's the final book so i'll get to finish that series as well uh the first two were very good i'm going to probably do a little recap of them all um at some point but actually it's been quite an interesting sci-fi series uh from xi xin lu so that is the third i'll put a picture up there because i can't bother to go all the way downstairs to get it so that is that okay and who do you tag so i am going to tag i want to just make sure that i get and names right now these now i will provide so obviously no one has to do a tag if you don't want to that's fine but the uh the prize is i pre-recorded this probably a week or so before it's going to come out because i have had to um times etc so they have these people haven't done this tag yet but by the time mine comes out they may have already done it so i may be tagging for something they've already done time it's a complicated feeling um so the ones the ones i wanted to tag are uh bandana book mom so uh it'd be good to see hers if she wishes to do it and there was one more if i can just make sure that i get the name right ah uh uh bards and books I say books and bards but it's bards and books uh so usman if he uh fancies doing this tag as well because i haven't done it yet by all means do, and we look forward to seeing them. I think that is all the questions. Let me just double check because I've done this before and forgotten one of the questions. No, that is it. So, thank you again to Bex for uh, tagging me in the video. Hope you enjoyed watching it. I'm sure she did because she's very generous like that. And uh, I will see you all in the next one. Bye.